Okay. Now let's do this again and see if the one objective is already cleared of our mission board here. It is. Okay, so we can do this in multiple steps. I hope this rocket is fit to do that. We'll see. Uh, we're gonna save real quick. Right, and uh, keep on doing this mission. Perhaps with this one. How much science do I have, by the way? I didn't look. I should have. Let's set our next target, which is way over there. Let's hope we have enough fuel for this, because... I don't know. Above 19.4. Okay. So, SAS. Where's our little indicator? Um, I wish I could see, but I can't. So this is southeast again. So that's 0, 90, 180, so 135 around there, if I'm not mistaken. So it should be headed right there. Okay, we're going to turn the rocket. So all I need to do is pull up. So the stick up so I can turn this down. I think that should be correct. I don't see the little indicator there. But it should be there. There it is. At the very bottom. Okay. I don't want to go down too much. Let's pull back up so we can keep, keep this right up there. May have pulled it a little bit too early. It's never good. If we keep it at that inclination, it should be fine. Just gonna turn it a little bit more over there. We're sinking. Still gaining a bunch of speed. Way over the sound barrier there. Yeah, but I can't pull it up. With our without SAS, I think I screwed up our mission here. I leaned over too early, so let's revert to launch right again. Uh, right away. And try it again. Okay, we're gonna turn again and give it another try so maybe around oh 135 three two one go all right
All right, that should hit our target perfectly. I hope. But look, judging from this, it should be okay. We're way above the target uh, altitude. Like, more than double. Uh, so let's just fast forward a tiny little bit. And we should be entering our target area pretty soon there. I hope it tells me on this screen as well, because I'm not really sure. Well, we will be there any minute now. What we need is the temperature. Where is that indicator, that thermometer? It's right here. Okay, good. Let's turn this over so I can see it better. Right there. Nice. Are we there yet? There we are. Dudlong's jest. Don't give me the crew report. Give me the temperature reading, please. Log. Keep the data. Yeah, because we don't have enough electric charge to transmit this for some reason. Which is interesting. Okay, we're already re-entering the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know how much stress this can take, so we're just going to separate our stages. Try and turn around. Retrograde. There's our heat shield. I do wonder if this is going to burn up. No, it already... Never deployed the chutes, though. That's poopy. I should have done that manually. Whoa! Look at it go. <laughs> well, that's, that's going to... Explode. It's still flying. It is still flying. Perhaps the the shoots deployed after all. I don't know. Ah, it's coming down nicely now. It's gonna vanish any second. No, oh, I think it just hit the ground. Are we going faster? No, we aren't. I think this thing is still... yeah, it survived somehow. I don't know how, but it did. Okay, let's speed this along. And then we're gonna hit our last target. This is a very wasteful way of doing this mission, because we built three rockets for three targets. Um, but it is a bunch of science after all, and that's what we're after. To advance our space program here. Okay, just to check, we did complete the second, or the third point up here. And it was temperature, so we can do the barometer. Apparently we can't, because I'm hitting the hatch for some reason. Please just let me get this reading. Zero signs. Crew report. Another zero signs. EVA. Let's get some more empty science. That's all worth nothing. And let's recover our vessel. Sweet. How high were we? I think we were up at uh, 50 kilometers or something. So we definitely... only 22 science. How is that? Huh. 
Maybe we get a bunch after we complete all three of them. Be that as it may, we're gonna try and hit that with this rocket here. Let's save the game first, I forgot. And uh, book another trip to the stars, everybody. Come on in, join me. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a little bit cramped in the command module up here because it's just booked for one, really, but we're gonna make do. So let's try and launch this. Throttle all the way up, as usual. And set this as our target. This is basically south. Uh, maybe south, southeast. Perhaps. So that would be 0, 90, 180. Uh, yeah, they're about. So, go. I don't know if we have enough fuel for this, but we're gonna see. Okay, keep it, keep it there. We do want to extend our uh, flight trajectory as far as possible with this, and right away. Just need to watch that we don't get grabbed by gravity and go parallel to the ground like we did before. That wouldn't be good at all. Okay. Just rolling slightly, so I'm on the level here. Okay. Perhaps we can keep it in the prograde vector here. Get a load on our Apoapsis should be fine already. So, wait a sec. Where is it? Where am I going? It's completely wrong. Two seventy. That's wrong. <laughs> Didn't I say one eighty? I guess I read that wrong. Revert the flight to launch and retry. Okay, sorry about this. Let's set our target again. One eighty is to the right of us. Okay, let's turn our rocket here, which is very safe to do on the burner. But nobody seems to mind. Okay. Should be fine. Throttle all the way up and go. Keep SAS going, that's always important. Perhaps tilt it slightly already. Not too much. Um, since we're going up, let's get a load of this right away. Always want to keep our apoapsis in, in mind here. Okay, counter steer because gravity is already pulling us down. We just need to go above 16 kilometers, so we're gonna be there in a second. Okay, there we are. And let's go a little bit further down. So, yeah, that's good. Pull the prograde further. Oops. Nope. Just, just want to throttle a little bit so I can navigate more easily. There we are. 
Well, that's a sight for sore eyes. Bat Mallard 87, welcome back. It's great to see you. It's been a long time. How have you been? Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, still not reaching the target. That's a uh, poopiness personified. PP. Guten Abend, Herr Twitchy. <laughs> Okay, let's burn the rest of the fuel here in hopes... Okay, that should be enough. That should hit the target right away. Wee 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 wee, that's not good. These health indicators indicate that we're about to die. Cosmonaut Binky Bonky reporting for duty. <laughs> yeah. Along with Jebediah Kerman here on the bottom. And yours truly, obviously. Vienna, we have a problem. We certainly do, because this isn't looking very good. All I want to do is reach this point over there, so we can take our reading and then we're gonna... Whoa, okay, something's happening. Something's exploding. I don't know what it is. Let's just hope it's not our um, science instruments. Are you enjoying this game so far? I love it. It's uh, quite the challenge, but uh, once you get the hang of the thing you want to achieve, it's it's really really fun. And getting there is also fun. It's frustrating at times, but uh, it's a good time overall. Gotta say, uh, we're gaining speed still. That's not good. Can I turn retrograde here, maybe, and counter burn? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're entering where we need to be. Can I quickly get the temperature reading? Decouple. Okay, we decoupled. Our instruments are on our little pod here. I just need to find it in all this fire and death and whatnot. No! <laughs> we lost our instrument. Okay, this whole thing is for naught. Gotta live with that, I guess. Uh, let's deploy the chutes. There's our... Off in the distance is our, our um, booster. Don't know if it's gonna survive. Okay, we're gonna have to retry that perhaps with... I don't know. More brains and less brawn, I guess. Came in at a spicy moment. Yeah, there's plenty of those to be had. <laughs> At the beginning of the stream, we killed poor Jebediah here. Well, the game cheated. It wasn't me, to be honest. Is this a first playthrough? Yes. I've watched a lot of Kerbal Space Program in the past, but never played it myself before. And I did have a, have a craving for it. Just because it's so challenging. As you can see. And um, we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. And perhaps get a... Um, what do you call it? A science bay onto a rocket, which protects our instruments, and hopefully do it that way. Jebediah, yeah. It's Jebediah Kerman, but for some reason I want to call him Jebediah Springfield all the time. <laughs> Sounds Amish. <laughs> Kinda does. We have a Valentina as well but she's not in the driver's seat this time around. I did play with her uh, most of the time through the tutorial. So... Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it about her. Okay, let's speed this along. Nobody wants to watch us hover in above our, our landing spot here. Three, two, one, zero. Zero. Splash down. There we are. At least we saved Jebediah here. Can we get a reading here on anything? Don't give me the crew crap. I just want a crew report. No data. Recovery, zero science. So that's not worth it. Let's do a quick EVA. Perhaps we're far out enough to get a proper EVA report. No, also zero science right there. 
let's port back and uh, recover the vessel and get a science um, bay where we can store all our science experiments to protect protect them from the heat and whatnot. All right, no science, no nothing, just a bunch of wasted money. <laughs> Okay, so, what do we need to do here? Do I want to, I don't want to do two stages to be honest, let's just decouple this and get a science bay, science junior, I guess that's the one I'm looking for. All those wasted Kerbal taxpayer dollars, yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad it's not privately funded at this point. No investors to report to. Just the president and he doesn't care that much. Alright, I hope one shoot is big enough to to recover both the pod and uh, the science bay. Let's open this up. Okay, let's grab this little temperature thingamabob and put it in there. Uh, let's get a real quick reading of this. Is this the right thing I want to do? I guess it's not. Nope. This is a different thing. thingy. Let's get rid of this. I want this one. The storage unit. Uh, that, <laughs> that doesn't look right. Uh, what? What is this? Cutting edge self contained laboratory. So, what does it tell me? Complementary notepad recommended for ages 4 to 8. Small parts inside make it not suitable for small children. Uh, okay, so all this. all this text here. of the description is just. you know. Unnecessary information. The mu music is absolutely awesome. Lovely jazz music, which reminds me, we were uh, at a Jeff Gilblum concert two days ago. He ended his tour in Vienna, and he plays some some rock and, and swinging sw swing and jazz music with his Mildred Snitzer band. It was amazing. That Jeff Gilblum dude is very chill and awesome. <laughs> He's just as, as he is in his movies, laid back and all around in a class act. Alright, so what do I want to do here? Um, I thought I had a science bay or something. Perhaps I need, well, not a fuel tank. Crap. Payload. Ah, there it is, the service bay. That's the one I was looking for. So if you're into jazz or... A good time, you should definitely check out Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Band. <laughs> it's a, like two hours with a lot of uh, trivia and whatnot thrown in there. He answered a bunch of questions about Austria. The audience asked and, and other people asked and his manager wrote a bunch of questions down for him. So he quizzed the audience and uh, and himself and the band, which was very fun. Um, okay, I'm on autopilot here. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's grab this reading here and put it on there. Can I turn this around? Like so. Perfect. <laughs> we had front row seats. I managed to score a cough drop. <laughs> he did that here as well. <laughs> Also fist bumps, awesome. Well, we were all the way in the in the cheap seats, <laughs> so nowhere near Jeff Goldblum personally. But he tore up his papers and uh, threw them in the audience and whatnot. So <laughs> the first row really got their money's worth. Uh, so the, did we, by the way was 
great evening nonetheless. Um, all right, uh, let's put this container in there as well. Turn it around like so. Should be protected from all the crap then. Maybe right there. Okay. Uh, and the barometer. Nope, that's not the right way around. Is it better? I don't think I can use this antenna on here because it did tell me before that I need more electric charge. So let's close the bay door. And put this sucker back on. Okay, does this have enough oomph to get us there? It might not. But then again, it might. Um, I think I just burned too much early on. Can I throttle this down? Thrust limiter. Okay, what if I set this down to, I don't know, 75 there about? Maybe that's enough to get us into uh, to the altitude we need. And then we just turn the rocket nicely, do a nice little gravity turn, hopefully, and extend our trajectory so we can reach the point where we're going. And we're gonna do that after a little break, everybody. <laughs> it has been almost 90 minutes, but I do need to pee, so we're gonna cut, uh, do our break a little bit early and come back in about five minutes and take this sucker to our target and see where it takes us. So thanks so much for being here. Do appreciate every one of you, every one of you being here. And I'll see you in a bit. Be right back, everybody.